Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a very interesting news video and one that I'm very happy to talk about and um, got some guests with us yet again. This seems to be the theme for like the past few videos <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the more guests the more fun there is I guess. Do so, yeah. Doctor Who fans, Doctor Who fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor Who it's fans. It's our channel. <laughs> yeah, you guys have taken over <laughs> and just doing all the work for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, we got Jay with us. Jay, say hello. Namaste people. And we've got Sid. Say, say, say. Hello, 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 welcome back. So, yeah, um, Doctor Who news today. Uh, we got the joyous, joyous news that I've been waiting for for so long that finally Chris Chibnall has left Doctor Who, yeah. which is the main thing, and Jodie Whittaker as well, which, I mean, uh, I didn't really like Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor, but I don't know if it's mm. her fault or more Chris Chibnall's, but Chris Chibnall's gone, thank the Lord. This is like the the news that I've been waiting to hear for the past like when did he start? Twenty seventeen or eighteen? Was that when they announced yeah. it? So it's been four years. Yeah, eighteen. It was eighteen. I remember I wasn't. That was yeah, I remember watching. I wasn't um, Doctor Who. Fan. I didn't watch all of Doctor Who literally as it came out. I I binged it all. Remember? So yeah, because I forced oh, you to I watch it from uh, Christopher Eccleston to Peter Capaldi's end, and then mm. at that point. Uh, you, you jumped up the train when it went when it went to like hell. That's basically when yeah. you came up. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Chris Chibnall's gone. Thank the Lord. That's like yeah. this is like the best thing that could have happened for the show. That was a long three years, but it's over at last. Yeah, it's always exciting, mm. whether you like a show or not. Because it's like I used the. I was just thinking, like, why is everyone so excited all the time from the news? Is like it's kind of like you know that sport. I'm gonna use a sports metaphor. It's like when they sack a football manager or. Uh, football coach from a team it's like oh that means the show's in disarray yeah but it's exciting because it's like a new beginning yeah that's what it feels like it's always exciting like that that's the but thing some that people I'm say it's too about. soon some people too that some people say it's too soon maybe for Jodie Winker because mm. she didn't get enough episodes I mean uh, I feel well uh, I that's know, what some yeah. people say I don't mind as much because I'm very excited uh, I mean yeah episode. I agree with that that she didn't get enough episodes but I also think that this is like they should have done this even sooner than not I don't know about getting rid of Jodie Whittaker because I don't really I don't know if I even even know if it's really her fault it's just the the like the way the show has been taken yeah, with Chris so Chibnall I wouldn't say it is I say like with especially with actors like they're essentially just like given material and then it's their mm. job to essentially oh, even perform e even Toes and Co even Toes and Call understanding even Toes and Call with a uh, with right, <laughs> I don't. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be sad. Just get paid thousands of pounds, someone. Do not question their ability. To that. Yeah, well, if, if they if they get if they get paid a lot of money, then they should do a good job. Oh wait, this sounds like football. <laughs> no, that, I'm 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 not getting paid to like act. I know. So yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I I can't really say anything to be that's fair. That's a separate but. discussion. Though. Yeah, yeah, but um, but yeah, no, I agree with you guys in terms of like people. I I'm. I almost want more episodes to wait for it to be good, mm. even better than it is. You know what I mean? The thing but is, I've been like, I've been waiting three years, so I just don't want to wait. Yeah. <laughs> I just want but something but new. It, it's true that there's not enough episodes. But yeah. It's also, true the writing hasn't been good enough, so mm. it would be less of a problem if the writing was better. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes, yeah. so especially I, I, that I last know, season. I, that last season to me just yeah. is like completely shot all over. You think like it's uh, well, the ending. I, th I think it has bigger implications for uh, the show. Than... Big implications. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they have time to sort it out. I think. I think, I think ser series about. eleven. It was really bad and arguably worse than series twelve in terms of like the way it was made and written and all that. Yeah. But I, it's it's I, harmless. Like, big improvement in my opinion. Yeah, uh, series 12, twelve only had its moments. Mm. Twelve had moments. I don't know. That's what saved it. I would say twelve. Yeah. I'd say twelve kind of annoyed me more than eleven because eleven was just like harmless. It was crap, but it was harmless. Twelve yeah, was it like breaking the canon. Yeah, because twelve had like good stuff. It had I Sasha down as the master and stuff like that, but it didn't it, like the ending. Like especially with the whole timeless children thing and all that. Th I hated all of that. I thought that was just dumb and it doesn't make any sense. Like with the rest of the show, and even now when you think about it for more than about three seconds, it makes absolutely no, no. sense. So, yeah. I didn't hate it as much, so I was like, "Series twelve is so much better than season because it had a story arc at least." And I agree with that. Yeah, and I he took a risk. He was doing some interesting ideas. Yeah, the passion was there. Chris Chibnall is a fan of Doctor Who, like whether you like it or not, and at least in this series, in series twelve, he was showing like he was actually passionate about Doctor Who, like all these references to other stuff. Mm. The the fugitive, the Judean episode was a fantastic episode, 
Um, yeah, I thought that episode was okay, even though like Jack didn't really do a whole lot. After yeah, that. Um, at least Jack came back as well. Jack, yeah, came, back at least Jack came back, I think, because like his appearance, because he hasn't been in when was his last appearance before that? Um, I think it 2008. was in his last episode. Yeah, yeah, unless Torchwood. Torchwood. Oh yeah, no, yeah, because he was in End of Time as well. Yeah, yeah. Because he was, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's true. I mean, uh, now that's a good thing that he came back. So I don't think we're going to be seeing Jack around for much yeah, luck after <laughs> all the controversy that's got, that's got on there. But um, yeah, this is just uh, beautiful news. It's good news, I think. I think it was good, beautiful yeah. news. Yeah, I think we all agree it's good news. Yeah, and uh, watch. Well, it, um, Sid, you know when you well, obviously, guys, we've talked about this in the group chat a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know how there was a trailer. Yesterday or the day before for season yeah, three, because they had a Comic Con panel, and then obviously a couple of days later they just announced it. It's probably yeah, true what you said, were saying, oh, Sid. They don't yeah. want any like sad news, like for the Comic Con panel, because that's meant to be like a happy moment. When you said yeah. that, what came to my mind? Do you know that Jamie Clarkson mean goes, "Oh no." Anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what came to my mind. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, it's just the BBC's way of dealing. With yeah, I, I guess they didn't want to, and because they, they have to know that the fans don't like what Chris Chibnall's done with the show, there's no possible way that they don't know that. Obviously they know this, because there's yeah. no advertising, there's not enough marketing for Johnny Wick, not to. Yeah, exactly, yeah, so, they, so. They, ha- they have to know this, so I guess that's why they announced it there, because otherwise, they know as soon as they announce that at the Comic-Con thing, that's what takes all the news and, like, all the buzz and all that. Like, that trailer wasn't going to get any attention if they announced this there. Uh, yeah, to be fair, from a marketing point of view, it's not just about, yeah, it's just, it's just takes, yeah. It just yeah. takes away from the Series 13 panel. So we're still having a good time. I don't... Yeah. Mm. So they I... could have announced at the end, though. They could have said at the end, Jody Wave is going to leave and maybe, like, the more details later on. But That's I true. Not, I yeah. That. I mean, I, yeah. Don't, I don't care when this news came. Really but whenever, yeah, it, whenever really it came, matter. I would have been happy. So I'm just happy yeah, that yeah. it came at all. But even that trailer they released a few days ago, it doesn't look like... At least to me, it doesn't look like a huge improvement. And it just looks like it's going with the same sort of... Uh, yeah, at least more footage, I think. Yeah, because yeah, I think it's going it, to be better than Series Twelve. I mean, yeah. I, I, to me, anything is better than Series Twelve. But I think <laughs> they're still going to they're still going to go on about this whole timeless children thing, which is just going to annoy me. But didn't no, they but... say it was going to be like one continuous story? story yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That, was that was the, the big thing that followed on mm. from Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Uh, they did and say the that. biggest adventure yet. They said, oh. uh, "Buff." I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you can get any bigger than what happened in bloody series twelve, but until next year, I mean, the year after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, they just keep saying it's the biggest adventure yet, even though I don't. Yeah. I don't think. It's, yeah, that's just not gonna. I mean, happen. Have to say that technically, yeah, like, advertise. This is just like you can't say, oh, it's not the biggest adventure because then exactly what are you? No, but it's a bit like you. You can use better words than that. The BBC don't know how to use proper words. They just say yeah. like biggest. They like can say yeah, the Doctor's like... best adventure yet, or the most magnificent adventure yeah, yet. Yeah, they don't use like good don't... adjectives like yeah, yeah. Like, like biggest there. implies something huge is going to happen. Like I don't think Davros think or something bigger... is going to come back in this <laughs> season. <laughs> well, I, th- I don't know. I think it's biggest technically in the sense that it's the first time in New Who that it's one continuous story. I think that's a good decision. Also, I love how they say it's the it's the biggest. Yeah, it's like. The shortest season of the show yet today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's kind of ironic. That's a problem, that's a problem as well. Yeah, yeah. But COVID to be fair. COVID for this year. Yeah, that's the excuse, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so yeah. Fair play, to, fair play to the Chibnall and all the staff and all the actors. They're still going on. Yeah, and yeah. Got three specials coming on next year. They're filming it now. The few specials. Are they filming them now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're filming at least the two specials now. And then obviously, Wait, how, how many is now. it? Is it three? Because I think my brother was saying to me it's three. Uh, uh, he was telling me yeah. earlier. I think it's three next. The plan week. was two. That was the rumor, which mm. is I we assume now is true. Two, mm. there was two, mm. but now in the announcement they said the BBC have added a third one. They've asked for a third one. Yeah, I mean to, uh, to, to, to celebrate the BBC's uh what, what, oh what the centenary thing or whatever. I don't remember what the in the autumn it's going to come out in the autumn. Yeah, next year. yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty cool. To be fair. No, they're, they're gonna have I think, to. yeah, depends what. Yeah, since, that's gonna be the final story. Then, since they're leaving, do you reckon they've got a new up lined up? Obviously, they haven't announced anyone yet. Mm. But I know people have like come saying, "Oh, so and so should be Doctor Who or whatever." Yeah. Do you reckon they've got like someone behind the scenes like cast ready? Oh yeah, when they leave, hundred percent, hundred percent. I think they've got a Doctor and a showrunner, or if they they have a showrunner, hundred percent, and they're ca- probably casting a Doctor right now. Yeah, I agree. I think mm. they've got because they said they're going to announce yeah. it in a couple of months. Yeah, I, I so. think we'll probably find that out at the, maybe at the end of Jody's next season. That, yeah. That's coming out that's, this year, that's right? That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I wish who, they did. Who do you want as a doctor then? That's because I think that's a big question. That is a big question. Yeah, 
I mean, who do, we want? Who do you guys? I guess I'll let, I'll let you guys go first. I'll save mine for last. Yeah, Jay, go for it, because I don't know. Because I have mine, like, in mind, well, I that one. I've got two. I've got two. There's oh. one that's more recent that came up as uh, speculation, Himesh Patel, just mm-hmm. because I'm a oh, Patel and I want that to happen. Mm. Oh, I know you're about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for those good, who don't know who he is, he's in yesterday, and who else was he in? He played Tamwa, I think it was, in EastEnders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy, he's good um, Yeah. My second choice would be, oh, crap, what's his name? Hang on. Uh, what? Woman, man, <laughs> man, hang on, hang Could on. Could be both these ben days. Wishaw, the guy who plays Q in. Bond. Oh, Ben Wishaw, yeah, that's oh, a good choice. Oh yeah, that's a good choice. Okay. He's been he's been talked about a lot. To be fair, uh, lots of people like him as a doctor. I think he could do it. He could do it as well. I think he's more likely because I think I always just go with like who's least famous. Because mm. uh, now I've learned over the years that it's not really the most famous people. But to be fair, they've been getting more experienced actors with Jodie Whittaker and Pete Peter Polly, so. Mm-hmm. Himish Patel's in Hollywood now a bit. Yeah. From yesterday and other stuff. Was he Tenet in, as well? He's in Tenet, yeah, yeah. I, I never, I haven't seen that movie, you know, I need to watch it, but. I say I need to watch it. Yeah, yeah. But he's dipping in toes in Hollywood now, so I don't yeah. know if he's. But Doctor Who's massive, to be fair, and the hype is going to be massive. Mm. 60th anniversary, so. Ben Wishaw, I could see as well. Yeah. He's, he's been in BBC stuff as well, so, so, so you never know. I mm. mean, that could be a shout. Yeah, that's, that be... that's, that's a good one. Do, do you have yours, Sid? Or should I go with my. Go with yours, because I've... Yeah, uh, there's, I don't know. there's three I'm thinking of. One is Richard Ayo, Addy. I'd like, I'd love if he played the Doctor. I know a lot of people mm-hmm. have, like, mixed thoughts on that. I think that'd be yeah, great. Cause, yeah, because, you know, I think people say, like, oh, he's good. He's an actor, but he's a comedian actor. I don't know if he could do the yeah. dramatic bits. It depends on the tone, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, he looks like the Doctor. He has a fit of that. Yeah, and even, like, his personality in real life just reminds me of what, mm, like, yeah, he's pretty good. the Doctor is, yeah. Um, if they wanted to go female again, I think Olivia Coleman would be a great casting for the Doctor. That'd be great casting. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd Wasn't love she that. Already in Doctor Who, though. Yeah, she yeah, was, but but so is Peter Capaldi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a stop people before. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. I, if if Olivia Coleman is the next Doctor, that I'd be so happy with that. Um, that would be a dream. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one, which I think is a bit unconventional, I've really seen anyone mention this. But I think Hugh Grant could make a good Doctor. I think he. I did. think he did. I think he played the doctor in like a. He did, yeah, a sketch. while ago. But I think they could. Uh, it was for like Children <laughs> in Need or something, wasn't it? They could bring that back <laughs> and make it good. I think that would be good. Uh, maybe. Uh, I've just googled it. It's called The Curse of Fatal Death. He did it for, um, just, charity. Just I Children in Need. Comic relief. That's comic relief. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. I, I know he played something. the doctor before, but I, yeah, I think he'd be a great casting. I'd love to see him as a doctor. But um, those are my three. I think Olivia Colman, Richard Ayoade, or Hugh Grant. If any yeah. of those three got cast as the Doctor, I'd be very happy. Yeah. Uh, was for me. Uh, I think I'll, I think I disagree with you guys. Yeah. I don't really think. I don't really think of this. I, I'm kind um, of like you said. To be fair, that those are like the ones that I, I kind of have in my head. But aside from that, I'm not particularly first because I think they could get depending on how the mainly how the character is written yeah. and how they're directed. Anyone could play the Doctor, provided they're British. That's like the the main like requirement for me. They have yeah, to be British, like Scottish or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all British. They're always British. Yeah, so I mean, that... that's the one requirement. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, they're all good picks. I think. I think. Um, I think the only th- one thing I was thinking, like obviously in the world of social media and stuff, mm. and political correctness and all of that, all that crap. Yeah. Obviously, if they bring it back to a white male, there will be some people obviously saying, "Oh, why are you doing that?" Well, yeah. you're doing this because obviously oh, now yeah, that yeah. It's, now it's the first time you've had a woman, and obviously it's been a rocky start in terms of that to an extent. Yeah, and the thing um, that I found weird with um problem with Chris Chibnall's thing, which this would kind of add to that, is um yeah. remember in the Timeless Children where they showed like the Doctor as a kid like regenerating into like every different gender and race yeah, like uh, under the sun yeah. and for like every single time, and then he just becomes a white guy for like thirteen incarnations straight. <laughs> Well, that that seems yeah. a bit like how the hell did that one happen? But yeah, I guess I don't, I don't know. know. The, the the division have a diversity course? I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it didn't um, really make a whole lot of sense, but I, I don't know. But in terms of diversity, I think Chris Chibnall was really good at that. At least mm. I think in terms of implementing it, and not making it feel too forced all the time. Yeah, that was one good thing he was in. He was good at. I could I can applaud him on that. It's He's just a, uh, so Asian master, the only thing that doctor. yeah yeah that's true. I, I, I did like, I actually really like Sasha Down as the master. He didn't get any Same, development, and he master. didn't. It didn't make any sense how he came back, and there was no development for it. But his performance, like, kind of managed to, like, overshadow that in a way. 
Uh, and the Fugitive yeah. Doctor, like the Master, didn't really get any development, didn't make a whole lot of sense, but Joe Martin's performance was good, so... Exactly. So. I, I was okay with it. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just over in the moon with this news. Chris yeah, Chibnall's no, it's gone. Good, it's good to see the specials as well back at least. At about least. bloody time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what, one last season, I guess, which is... Is that supposed to come out this year? Is it? Yeah, I don't remember the release yeah, date. Yeah, yeah, but then... Um, autumn yeah. of 2021. Hmm. So, yeah, and autumn, technically autumn 2022 is the last time we're going to see Joe. This is going to be like a long wait to see the next Doctor, but they're going to announce the next Doctor. So mm. it's, both people have their, to me, both people have their cake and eat it. Like, if you don't like Jodie Whittaker, then you you got the hype of a new uh, Doctor. Yeah. If you don't, if you do like her, then you still got her until next year, technically. Mm. Obviously, and sometimes the specials are good in between because it's like less episodes, but it's like more hype in between. So yeah, yeah, it's um, good. I. I th- yeah, well, you were going to say, Sid. Uh, was... Yeah, I was going to say, like, if there's hype for, like, the specials, I think they're going to bring back David Tennant. I think that's a good yeah. business move for the BBC. Yeah, yeah, I think for the for the, the, the 60th Good. anniversary, they'll try and bring back as many Doctors as they can. Oh, yeah, that's the 60th anniversary, yeah. yeah. That'd just be like... Do you think they'll try and bring back um, Christopher Eccleston? Because I know he had, like, Yeah, I think so. I, 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 I think... Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they'll try and bring... Because they managed to get him... But, I mean, I know it's a different studio with Big Finish, but I think they'll they'll try they'll somehow manage to get him back because it's a better chance than 50th yeah yeah because it seems like his relationship with the bbc is kind of healed now in a way yeah i don't know and especially with the whole thing with like noel clark and all that stuff kind of getting exposed exposed recently i feel like maybe in a way that's justice served for like maybe but maybe that could be i'm not saying like it is because i don't know obviously but maybe that could be part of why he left so it depends on the script, I think. I think he's always said, like, if the script's focused on him as well, like, mm. a, a good script for his character and a good character arc. Yeah. I think that's a big thing as well. So hopefully the new showrunner does that. Because I don't think Chris would have done that. Yeah, so yeah. Least, I, I, I totally agree. That. Yeah. Um, so, the only other thing is, do you guys have any uh, showrunners in mind that you'd want to take That's a good point. The, the only ones I could think of uh, off the top of my head who've written some decent episodes before, maybe Mark Gatiss or Neil Gaiman. I was thinking Neil Gaiman yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah he... I was thinking Mark Gatiss, because I know he's like, he did Sherlock, and he's done a couple of uh, Doctor Who episodes before. Mm. And that... he's been in Doctor Who as well. Yeah, yeah, he was in, um, which episode was he? He played the soldier in one of Twice Pete Capaldi's episodes? Twice time or something like that. I think yeah, so, yeah. he's always yeah. been involved. Pete Capaldi's last episode, I remember it being that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it probably was that, I can't remember. Neil Gaiman, Neil Gaiman would be a good one, because yeah. I think, it's not just that he's been for the show before. He's an author <laughs> as well, isn't he? He's like a full-on writer. So... <laughs> So, He's so writing a... um, thingy though at the moment, isn't he? Sandman. Sandman. Yeah, is that done? The, uh, no, no, it's, uh, things were no, stopped. It's, still, it's, it's still going. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe maybe that's like a that'd be too I, big of a commitment for yeah. him then. I don't know. It, has he, I, don't, I haven't seen any TV shows. shows. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I haven't <laughs> really kept up I, with that show. I think Neil Gaiman's a very imaginative person, but I don't know if he's got experience actually running a TV show. <laughs> Yeah, but he knows how to write comic books in certain episodes of Doctor Who. I think Nine Men. I think Doctor's Wife is great. Then again, maybe no, they no. maybe they need someone with that experience because Chris Chibnall had experience with Torchwood, and then look at what happened when he came to Doctor Who. True, true. So it's not maybe, always the maybe, maybe, yeah. was amazing. I don't know what happened. I was telling um, Doctor Tanvi about this earlier. Mm. He was saying like he, it's a shame of what he did to Doctor Who, providing that. Uh, Torchwood is actually so good if you watch uh, Torchwood, yeah, yeah he did a better job with Torchwood the thing is though Torchwood yeah. is a completely different like it's not even in the same realm as Doctor Who to me like it's obviously the same universe but it's not even like remotely the same sort of show I don't think from the episodes yeah. I've seen of it it's like completely yeah, different yeah. So I understand. it's a lot more like adult also. yeah yeah that's a good way of putting it like, I think it's more yeah like you say it's more adult kind of more mature than Doctor Who Doctor Who is more like fun for the whole family sort of thing yeah. uh, which oh. Oh. I, I guess might not translate as well. What were you going to say, sir? I think there's rumours of, obviously there's obviously going to be rumours of like, of, there's always a thing where it's like the writer of the previous season, one of them becomes the showrunner. And Steven obviously Martha. Peter McTee is a big one. Yeah, oh. that was like the running theme. That's the pattern, obviously. To the, like Now it's like, oh, maybe Peter McTee or Vinay Patel, someone like them. Mm. But I don't know if, I think Peter McTee's done a show. I need mm. to actually search what show he's done. Mm. But I personally, I just I just prefer refresh. Just yeah, from same. out of the blue, with a good pitch. That'd be true. Uh, that, that's actually true. To be fair, I think that even if they got someone who hasn't worked on Doctor Who before, but he's like a fan yeah. of it and knows what they're doing, I think that could be good. But I don't know. I, I think it'll be like I was saying to you guys before. I think it might be sort of like a some sort of 
like it is with every showrunner, sort of soft reboot for the show, where it'll feel like it's come maybe coming back into its own, or they'll like take it back to its roots, sort of thing, where it kind of goes back to what how. You mean it, by, what you mean by roots? Like it'll go, it'll kind. Of, I, it, I don't know how to say it. It's like it'll act as like a, that cosmic thing. There's always the cosmic element of Doctor Yeah, Who, but I, I feel like it might it might act as like a reset button where anyone could jump into the show at this point and it they'll be, be fine. Yeah, it will be a reset. Yeah, which I'd be happy about because again, <laughs> after the whole thing that they've done in Series Twelve with this whole timeless children thing, I think they need something to kind of bring people back into the show. Because I mean, we're, I don't know. I didn't hundred percent like I wasn't hundred percent sure about this, but, but the viewing figures up or down last season from. Down. They're down. Yeah. They're going ever since. Yeah. I think ever since. Probably ever since. The, um, the chip, the chip the chip chip the yeah, yeah. I, th- I, think it, I think it was since uh, Series 9 or something, wasn't it? Sometime. Yeah, series 8. So even yeah. series, even series I, 7. I didn't, actually know this. I didn't actually know this. You know, Peter Capaldi, he, he, when his first appearance as the Doctor, uh, Deep Breath, mm. you know, like every Doctor has like their first episode or whatever. Yeah. His doctor was actually the least viewed. I'm very shocked about that. that. Actually, well, 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 but actually, to be fair with that, I don't, I don't know if this is like, I don't think this really accounts for much. But um, they did release that episode in cinemas. So does that take cinema viewings into account? No, it would have made a difference to be honest. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It wouldn't have made a huge difference. But does that take cinema viewings into account? I don't know. It's pretty interesting. It's, still it's, it's decreased yes. dramatically on the age with them. Like to say, um, like Pete Peter Capaldi was the least viewed Doctor for like when he became the Doctor because until Saban told me to watch Doctor Who, I thought Matt Smith was actually still going. I didn't know Peter Capaldi yeah. had taken over. Yeah, that's true actually because I think casual fans didn't really know because I I think that was like the power of Matt Smith as the Doctor. He was like what he what he did for that show was amazing because even he like brought it to America fully and did even all Steve that. Moffat was that he was yeah. actual in it to America and stuff like that. Mm. Even if it sometimes didn't make any sense yeah. for the story, like. But it was like he kept. He tried to keep it going for the likes. Um, he brought it to the American audience as well, streaming as well. Yeah. So what those two did that, for the show was amazing. There you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, that's what I was gonna um, say. Yeah, I think Doctor Needs to adapt. That's what I'm gonna say. Like, mm. and that's why I was glad that uh, they said that it was gonna be one continuous storyline. I think that's what gets more views these days. Line of Duty got 11 minutes. Like, that was one of the biggest BBC shows. I haven't seen that show. I, I should probably watch I've it. I've never watched that show, but it got, like, so many views. Yeah. So, but I guess... You, you, yeah, go, go on, go on. Go on. Yeah, like, I was going to say, like... Like, um, obviously, I was going to use the excuse, like, oh, these days, less people watch TV. But that... If there is a show that can be... When there is a show that is really popular, it's proper popular. Like yeah, you can get eleven like million. Like Peaky Blinders or something like, like that. That's Love cool. Island, <laughs> but also dramas. That's what. Like, yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's shows. That's more applicable. Well, Line of Duty is the big one. That's what I mean. That's the drama. Or even like Peaky Blinders million, or something like million. that. Yeah, like any of those. Because, it, but they all have continuous storylines. Best TV shows are all streaming. All best. All always. Never. It's never like. It's never like oh, it's con- it's always continuous storyline. That's true. So to I be think fixed, the, the, only, the only show I can think of in recent memory, I mean, it, it technically was a continuous storyline, even though the episodes were kind of more episodic. Was a uh, Mandalorian, maybe that was like really yeah, popular, I, but that was yeah. Like, BBC have done this as well with Killing Eve and stuff like and other stuff on BBC. I saw that show. That's the big thing for them. They're I doing think. it like that. Disney are doing it like that. Yeah, I think that's what they should do mm. in my, for the get more in terms of getting viewers if they want loads of even more people joining onto the show. That's and that's true. what they want. That's yeah. what you can tell they want. Yeah, because I think it. they have to, especially <laughs> with how it's going now for like older fans. A lot, I think a lot of old, old, like I'm talking about like fans from back in the day, I think they've kind of like dropped off the show now like especially with some of the stuff that chris chimnall did oh, especially if you look at some of the some of them online who are like hilarious mm-hmm. some of them are hilarious like um what's the guy's name on youtube bowls trek i think or bowls trek i don't know how you pronounce it his videos oh, are, no. like his, oh, his videos are like ridiculous and how over the top insulted he gets by the show i mean it's funny don't get me wrong but is it like a is it like a joke or is like is no he's serious? being serious but it's like funny to me that he gets so like <laughs> upset of, yeah insane. yeah yeah like it's funny to me how upset he gets about it but I don't know uh, pe- people like that I think they've completely checked out no matter what they do with the show now but then again maybe now that Chris Chibnall's gone they'll they'll jump back on the train and. Uh, but they're still watching it because they're still making YouTube videos. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing I don't get about these people. They get so they get so annoyed and they say, "Oh, we're not going to make videos on the next season." But then you, the next season, you see them like still talking about it. So it's like, okay, they're they're still still popular popular show. 
That's why they're yeah, desperate content. for content. Yeah. Mm. And Doctor Who's still a popular show. And yeah, still yeah. watch it. it. I mean, even you know the way, I mean? even in its current state, people still do technically like watch it, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's just the casual people they need to get back on board. They'll never get back to that peak that was David Tennant, whereas all the casual, like, all just event television, everybody That was like, this. when when David Tennant, like, the end, middle and end of David Tennant, like, the beginning of Matt Smith, I was like, I, I don't even yeah, think that they're, they're ever, yeah, up until Day of the Doctor, that's no, that's never coming back, I don't think. I mean, that's what Line of Duty is now, like, but that was continuous like that. Mm. All the time, but do you think and that could be that could be because that's what we grew up with? That's why. It, no, it, exactly. It doesn't have to be like that again. It's yeah. whatever what the BBC want. You can try and maybe p- just please the hardcore fan base. Keep it at five million viewers on TV. It's not as important anymore anyway. As long as you keep on getting the money, it's all who cares. Mm. Or you can try and, or, or they can try and get ten million viewers more or a bit more viewers all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's the priority. I think streaming numbers are the priority. That's what Possibly, should be the priority. Because because streaming's the future. Of TV, it's hard to get. It's hard to get ten million views now, anyway. To be honest, so mm. it's not about that. Yeah. But obviously, for big anniversary episodes, then they want that big leadership, and I think that's why for the BBC anniversary, they're lucky they got the BBC anniversary and Doctor anniversary. I really, so going to be. I really hope, gonna, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. I really hope they put the 60th anniversary in cinemas because I didn't get a chance to watch Day of the Doctor in cinemas. I know you did, Sid. You're so you're yeah, so it was lucky. Very, it was a very good experience. Yeah. I, I really wanted Definitely to watch that, that, but yeah, I don't know if they, if they do that. You had like a special segment as well at the start for like some, obviously you can watch it on YouTube after, but it was really like really cool surprise thing mm. as well. So yeah, it made it feel like an event. So hopefully they do that again, and now it feels even more exciting because it's like less people like going against each. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously, I don't know if people. I'm not saying people are going to fight this about that chimble, but yeah, yeah it's going to be all like united fan base. Hopefully, because it's like it's a new thing now. So mm. hopefully, but, yeah, you can't really judge it until it's. You can't. Really, they don't really judge it until you see one series at least. There might be a series before sixty. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. In it. But I guess that's about I it. Unless I, you guys have anything else to anything else to say about it. Do you have anything no. else to? Add? No, just hurry up and bugger off, Chris Chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty much. All I think I think there. you guys are gonna be pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna be take the optimistic route. I don't know if I mean this completely, but I think you guys are gonna. You may, you may, you may regret saying that if it's really bad, but I don't know. I, I think there'll be, I'll be, uh, there'll be a few more episodes at least with Jodie Whittaker being a good doctor at least. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, the story arc is so intertwined now that it's either you're, you're either with it or you're against it. But we'll see that there's a mis- it's a mystery type thing. Chinmo's good to that. He's mm. good at that type of thing. Continuous storyline. He's used to that in a way. He should have done that from the start, maybe. That's because true. Because he's done it with Broadchurch. So mm. I've never watched Bullchurch, but apparently that's a good show. I haven't. So either. I think he's he's more he's getting more and more suited to that, mm. and he's to do that. Hopefully, uh, this series thirteen is going to be good, and hopefully it maybe rectifies some of the stuff people don't like about the whole chosen one type thing with the timeless child. Because I like the division side of things. So I just think they need yeah, to explain oh, it more, the division thing, and then you don't just, like you don't like it division or you. Uh, they just need to explain it more and then move away from this whole chosen one thing, which I think is stupid. I just yeah, think that's dumb. I feel like you could separate the concepts and make, like, Division thing could be its own thing, you know what I mean? But obviously they've intertwined it a bit. Mm. So it's like, yeah. So I think there's some room for, there's some really good stuff in there. It's just that they need to, like, sort that thing out a bit. Yeah. Maybe reveal the master, maybe the master's a timeless child the whole time, and maybe they both work on <laughs> and, the Division oh, thing. They just need to do away with this whole timeless child thing, just yeah. cut it off and pretend yeah. it never happened. But they get, uh, they're not going to do that for this series. Yeah, yeah I they're don't, I don't think so, yeah. They're going to try and expand it, so we'll see what happens. We'll mm. see. Yeah, um, but I guess that's about it, isn't it? So, um, thanks, Jay and Sid. Thanks, guys, for coming on again. Um, no problem. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> check out Sid's channel in the link in the description. Check out Sid's Instagram link in the description. Check out Jay's Instagram link in the description. <laughs> um if, also, stay tuned. We're going to be here, I guess, talking about the the next season when that comes out. If you guys are yes, game for that, we have an announce <laughs> uh, sometime this year, I guess. So, yeah, no Christmas uh, special, though. no Christmas special, or no new. But that's that's normal now these days. Yeah, oh, New Year's special that. now. It'll be New Year's probably again, and then two more. After <laughs> they just need to bring Christmas specials back. I don't even know why they stopped doing that, but that's a whole other. But yeah, thing. they're good. They're wholesome. I like them. Yeah, when they're yeah. done well, it's good. Mm. Yeah. But. Yeah, um, be sure to stay tuned for all those videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to so you don't miss a video from us. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button. Check out our Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.